Hey, what's happening everybody? My name is Harry Seen and welcome to episode 10 of this Recycler View Android tutorial. Uh, where we left off, we just finished, um, oh, I don't have it up right now, but we just finished adding that background to the list view. So when a user clicks it, a color appears just to indicate that they're clicking the row. But now what we want to do is that we want to start kind of the endless scrolling process. So you can basically just get an endless scroll of content. Uh, right now in Android Studio, let me just click out a few things. Let me just clean it up, clean up the tabs. Um, get out of this, get out of, we don't need any of this right now. Um, let's just go back into our main activity. Scroll down, this update list. So again, to load more content, it's gonna be very similar to the update list function. So I'm just gonna create some space. Uh, let me copy and paste. Because a lot of it's going to be the same. Just some minor tweaks. And paste. This is wrong. So now I'm in the copy and paste it update list. Delete that. Let's call it load more. Oh, let me get my coffee out of the way. Load more. Uh, the counter up here that we set to zero. Now, since we're loading more. We want it to be. We want to add 25, and we add 25 because uh, when you're in Reddit, it shows 25 per page. So you can see this 25 icon or this 25 number right there on the next page. And then we go to the page three. It's 50, um, and then so on. You guys get the picture. But we also need that to be a string because we're going to have to get that integer and um, put it to a string so we can put it in the URL. We defined this string up above earlier in the series. Um, string dot, uh, string dot value of counter, right? Yeah. Semicolon. And we're also going to set the subreddit to equal the JSON subreddit um, just in case again that's why we define it up here this JSON parse is just getting a subreddit that it belongs to so if we're in awe it'll just pull awe kind of the same thing but we um, reestablish it we get it again just because when we're jumping through different subreddits we want to make sure that's consistent with the subreddit that we're in uh, now we have to build kind of a unique URL. So you can remember we made this simple one up above for the last update list function, but now it gets a little bit trickier. But again, not that tricky, just more things really. After JSON.n, add the Q count. And then, and then this is why we defined all these. Like we're going to add all these together right up here um, the Q count, the JSON, and the after, um, all that good stuff. So that's why we declared them so early on in the video. After plus after ID. And then simple. Awesome. We're declaring this. We still need to declare that adapter. We have the recycler view. We have the request queue. Um, this time we do not want to clear the adapter because we're adding on the content. So we can get rid of that. JSON parse, I think we're good. Just double checking. But yeah, that is awesome. I think that's it. We just had to kind of put in a new URL to pull the same information. Um, however, let's do a quick, uh, um, let's make a couple of loading progress dialogues. Uh, so they know that something's happening. I think we declared that early on. I believe we have that progress dialog variable up above. Yeah, right here. So now let's branch off that and create a couple, a couple of functions. And they're helpful, and they make the app look better, and they prevent people from kind of being not not knowing what's going on. Private void show pd as in show progress dialog. Curly braces. Um, 
if the progress dialog equals null, as in it's not appearing, then you can run this when it's called. Uh, progress dialog equals new progress dialog. That's on this semicolon. Progress dialog dot set message. Um, you can put whatever you want. You can say please wait. Um, I'm just going to put in loading. And that'll appear in the box. Just saying that you know it's loading stuff. It's loading, guys. Uh, progress dialog dot set cancelable. Uh, false. That means so these next two progress dialog dot set canceled on touch outside. Um, cancel on touch outside. So so what those two functions are doing? It's saying that you cannot when the user touches somewhere on the screen the loading progress bar not necessarily the bar but the progress dialog it will stay above the activity um, so a user just can't just tap away and it goes away um, if they do that there, there, there'll be some confusion on that you know is it done loading yada yada but um just having that it does kind of lock down the app a little bit during the loading process I think that's good for functionality dialog.show and show is the main thing you know it's going to show the uh, it's going to show what we just created now since we're showing it let's also hide it void hide pd and then if um, the progress dialog oh not equal no equal equal is not right that's a new mistake there. If progress dialog uh, does not equal null, curly braces, uh, we can dismiss it. Progress dialog dot dismiss, which means just you know get rid of it. Progress dialog equals null. So we reset it to null just to make sure that it will not appear anywhere. We don't want any more. So now let's go ahead and add this, uh, add these functions. We'll add, we'll add it to our um, update function as well. Um, after we clear the adapter, we want to show PD. Again, I'm in the update function. And then where do we want to hide it? We want to hide it after the log. Hide PD. And also under these errors as well. After we get the message, we want to hide as well. Hi, PD. And let's repeat. Uh, under the request queue, let's go ahead and show PD. Show progress dialog. And now let's hide it. And now let's. Um, Hide it again, yeah. That's awesome. What else can we do? Um, below more is not being called anywhere. Yeah, so it doesn't know just yet to do what we want to do. We will change that right now. Um, so this is going to consist of creating a new class, and this code is endless scroller code. Um, definitely, all the credit is given to this guy. It worked for me, so I kept it and I moved forward with it. But I thought it was awesome. The link will be in the description. Should be under endless scroller. All credit to Sinis S S I N S S because he rocked it, and we're going to pretty much just copy and paste all of it into our uh, into our application but again he knocked it out the park awesome endless scroller for the recycle views um, new class Java class we're gonna call it endless recycler on scroll listener 
to another capital C though. Okay, I just want to make sure that the same thing. You can just copy and paste it too, because um, again, we are just gonna use the uh, exact boilerplate code. So there we go. Okay. Now let's go back to his GitHub page, S S I N S S, and get what we need. Awesome. Control C, and now let's paste. Get all your imports in there. Awesome. Uh, and then down in his code, I believe you know this is how you use it. Um, in your create, you're gonna have the recycler view, linear layout, and then um, yeah, you're this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna load more. This is how you're going to use his script. So let's just copy that as well. Um, uh, go back to main activity. Our recycler view wasn't called that, we called it M recycler view with a capital R. So adjust set on scroll listener. Oh, I think there's, so this is deprecated, so I did have to change it a little bit. Um, so let's just start fresh. Um, add on scroll listener, add on scroll listener. Again, so if you're using the same exact API level as I as I am, you'll probably get the same deprecation. Um, again, if you're not, I'm sure you can just copy it, tweak it to how we tweak it here and um, be fine. Um, it's not gonna be the end of the world. And let's recycle scroll listener. Uh, we want the linear layout in here. We define the linear layout up there, right here. Linear layout. We want that lowercase l. Um, integer current page. That's good. On load more. Uh, what do we want? We want uh, integer. Integer last. First visible position equals linear layout manager. This will make sure that when we scroll more, it keeps our position. You don't want to load more and then go back to the top. That would be annoying. Recycler view dot get layout manager. End parentheses dot find first completely visible item position colon boom. I'll troubleshoot it later. I'm not sure why we're getting errors. Probably for like a hundred different reasons. <laughs> um, now we're down here. Linear layout manager and recycler view dot get layout manager and parentheses dot scroll to position last first visible position. Um, last first visible position. After we get that, we want to run that new function that we just made. Load more, and we're going to parse in the uh, put in the uh, JSON subreddit that we defined earlier. Awesome. So why am I getting? One down. I had extra parentheses in there. Get layout manager. First I can put this. Let's find. Dot. Find first visible item. Okay. 
Again, this is probably wrong as well. Probably put an extra parentheses. Awesome. I think we did it. I think we have the endless scroll going up. Let's run it and see what breaks and see what I have to fix and all that stuff. But no, I think it should work. Um, use this API, use this uh, emulator, virtual device. Let's see what happens. While it's loading, can we go into this script? Awesome. Seems like it did a great job. Current page. So it's kind of taken. Awesome. Oh, so we have our progress dialog showing up. We cannot click out of it because we set those two uh, set those two calls for you can't cancel out. So it should pop up once we get once it's done loading. If it ever stops loading, we will definitely get some content up. That's all right. I think something's happening. I think we're all right. Awesome. So we got the dogs. We got this little tight guy up here just kicking it, kicking it in the car. And now let's see if it loads more once we hit the end. It's not the, it's not a great endless scroller, but it works. Um, you know, I think it would be preferred if you know once you pull up it'll load but it kind of loads automatically as I think as soon as the device registers that it's hit a 25 mark um, the limit so but this should load more though um, without a problem and we're maintaining position as well so we're not shooting back up top um, so yeah if it ever loads. Again, this will be faster on your phone or your tablet. Or maybe you just have a better emulator. Maybe you have a better virtual device. Maybe you can read it better than me. Maybe I just screwed up somehow. But yeah. Awesome. Can we get do we got more data? Awesome. We are cooking now. We are getting some progress done that's gonna load more again here I'll wait one more time just to make sure that we have some more info um, um, and I'll end the video and we'll move on uh, I think next we're gonna add buttons so we can switch between subreddits and then I had some iffy things on that like um, sometimes when I was switching between subreddits then the scroller wasn't working so then I went into fragments. So I think next we're gonna add buttons, which is a very simple call. You know, you add the button, then you click it, then you update the list new. Um, and then we might go into fragments after that. So awesome! Thanks for joining me. I definitely do appreciate it. If you made it this far, you are totally awesome. I don't know how you did it. I can't even do it. We've been doing this for like 20 hours. I think I think this is our 200th hour. Recycling rooms. <laughs> I count it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but no, again, never hesitate to just go to my GitHub page, get the code, and move on with your life. Make apps. Recycler views all day. I just love recycler views. I just, I just dream about them all day. Uh, all right. I probably shouldn't have waited, but let's. Move. I, I'm gonna tough it out. I am. We, I am just gonna tough this loading screen out and just show it who's boss. I probably should have just done it on my tablet just to do it faster. Finally, we have more content. It updates. Awesome. Hey, I'll see you guys in the next video.